What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel, and we are just two days away from the release of Black Ops Cold War Season 1 inside of Warzone, and today I want to talk to you guys about the integration of Black Ops Cold War, which includes a gameplay footage of the new Gulag experience, Rebirth Island information, and so much more. So guys, starting off with Rebirth Island, the main lore behind this map is figuring out where exactly did the Nova 6 gas originate from. So its purpose is not really much so of a prison, like a lot of people were comparing this to Alcatraz Island from Black Ops 4, which yeah, there is a prison and it is part prison and Nova 6 facility. But again, the facility is more of a factory for Nova 6 gas, again, than a prison. So um, yeah, but kind of like Alcatraz, the island is pretty open, it's very tight together, so you gotta drop in, find loot items, a gun first, and then a focus on survival instead of trying to play the map very passively and safe, which is the opposite of Verdansk. Now, Stitch was a bioweapons expert who was captured and forcefully interrogated by Adler, but then Stitch had escaped the Gulag and is now hellbent on seeking revenge and making Adler suffer. So that's kind of like a little bit of a taste of the lore behind Rebirth Island. And again, Rebirth Island is going to be its own separate entity from Verdansk, except it's going to play somewhat similar to the mini Battle Royale LTM. And the two featured game modes are going to be trios and quads, but there's going to be a much lower player count than in Verdansk. Now, also to celebrate this new Warzone map experience, there's going to be a new limited time event offering 16 challenges for those who drop onto Rebirth Island for the very first time. And it's going to be kind of similar to the Halloween event where you have to do some sort of a challenge, maybe open up some loot boxes, and then you will get rewarded with cosmetic loot items such as calling cards, charms, emblem stickers, and a special LMG blueprint called the Noxious along with additional secrets to uncover. Now right, guys, we are also getting a new Gulag experience for both Verdansk and Rebirth Island, but starting off with the Verdansk Gulag, when you die, you will be forcefully dragged to a interrogation room, strapped to a chair, and you have to wiggle your way out of that chair in order to see the battles going on. So there is some kind of Black Ops lore to this Gulag that's also built into Warzone, um, but the Gulag is also a makeshift replica of the original Nuketown map layout, with both home interiors and a backyard barricaded off to focus the fight to a more central area. So the new Gulag is gonna be kind of similar to Nuketown, which is pretty cool. And the fight area was heavily inspired by the red light, green light mission from the campaign of Black Ops Cold War. So that's the new Gulag 1v1 arena on Verdansk. But now for Rebirth Island, the Gulag has metal detectors that will go off and alert enemies on your exact location. So. That is pretty cool. So now you gotta focus on the sound around you and playing the Gulag more tactically instead of rushing head on. And the description says that this classified location has a grim history as certain inmates were experimented on as part of Perseus's plot to turn the tides of the Cold War. So pretty cool that not only are we getting new locations and whatnot, but also a brand new Gulag experience to add even more fresh feelings to Warzone Battle Royale. I love this a whole lot. Finally guys, I wanna show you a flyby map image of Rebirth Island. So here are all the locations where you can drop onto the map. And again, as you can tell, it's pretty tight together, but there are some areas that do promote the long range gunfight. So it's gonna kinda of feel like Warzone still, but a little bit more hectic and crazy. Also, coming on launch week, we're going to be getting a brand new LTM game mode called Resurgence, which is for Rebirth Island mainly, and it focuses on respawning as the key to victory. So, you and the team will need to keep respawning over and over again when the Rebirth countdown reaches zero, but as long as there is at least one squad member remaining, then you're going to keep respawning, but after that squad member dies, then you and the team have lost. So there is no Gulag in this LTM, and after taking an enemy out, you're gonna be gaining a moment of extreme clarity on where the rest of the enemy team is located. So this LTM sounds super duper hectic, a lot of fun for sure, and yeah, I cannot wait to play this on launch week. Now, also in Verdance, we're gonna be getting some new vehicles. Some of these new vehicles are from the Fireteam Dirty Bomb game mode, 
build. So if you guys haven't played that, highly recommend doing so because you can kind of get a feel of what new vehicles are going to be coming to Warzone. But there's also an attack helicopter, so it's going to be kind of similar to the regular helicopter, except there's going to be a mounted, belt-fed minigun on both sides of the helicopter. So this thing sounds extremely powerful if you're going to be the one controlling it, and it will definitely cause a lot of damage to opposing teams in Warzone. Expect there to be new Black Ops Cold War weapons integrated on the ground loot, some kill streaks, of course, as well. And uh, yeah, guys, it's pretty much just the integration of Black Ops Cold War coming to Warzone, and they're merging together. So I cannot wait to finally get my hands on Warzone coming in Season 1, which is just in a couple days, guys. Please let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to see more, feel free to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can't miss out on a single video. Also, feel free to come hang out with me in my Discord server, Twitch stream, and over on Twitter. Links can be found down below. I love you guys so, so much. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.